All right. So today is the first day I wake up after finding out that I have cancer. Found out yesterday on April 27th that they found cancer in the part of my colon that they took out for my colostomy. I don't really know much yet, more. I won't know anything else until Monday, but it's all a lot to take in right now. What's that? It's Jeffrey. And Daniel. It's watching me. This is Daniel, he's my backup dancer and cousin because you know on tour you cannot trust anyone else besides your family. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? I'm bald. And I'm bald. <laughs> <laughs> so today's video, it is, we're going back through time. Yeah. That intro was iconic. Yeah. <laughs> A long time ago, I was at a hardcore rock show, like metal music, a lot of screaming, a lot of loudness, and I was at a show, and I met Daniel for the very first time. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. I'll never forget it. He had a, bl uh, a plaid button-up shirt. He had a blonde yeah. uh, streak in his hair. His hair was spiky, it was black. We're gonna, we have so many pictures, we're gonna be throwing up throughout this video and some old yeah. clips to play. Who introduced us? Cause that um, part I can't remember. It was like a merchandise guy for one of the bands. Okay. He introduced us. <laughs> um, I was like, who is that? Yeah, yeah. Cause I, how, how did I look in that day? Do you remember? Um, I just remember short pink. It was like short down to here. It was a little longer, but short. Mohawk or no? No Mohawk. Okay. Um, pink. You had a little like tiny black dress on. Okay. It was full sleeves, high ass tall heels. And okay. I was just like, what the f <laughs> who is that? Who is that? And my friend yeah. was like, I know him, let me introduce you. And I was like, uh, okay, let's do it. Yeah, because I was really intense back then. No, oh, well, yeah. Or, or right now. No. I mean, it's all the same. But we, I was, I don't know if I was a little intimidating, but I just looked a little, so, you know. For I being at like a rock show. Yes. Yeah. People were just like, you know. They didn't look, they didn't look uh. like me at the time at all. It was a different t uh, time in the world. It was uh, a different scene and I really stuck out. So I remember meeting Daniel, we hit it off. I don't know why they introduced us. I think maybe because we're... Uh, we were the two like flaming homosexuals <laughs> in the building. <laughs> Which so. is what we got called often as well as an array of other yeah. things that we will have to bleep. Uh, like... <laughs> 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 and we we bonded. It was it was so cool. I yeah. feel like I knew him like my whole life, and we really gelled together. Now at the time, he did not live. I lived in Orange County. I was in San Francisco area. Yes, you were. Yeah. Oh so it was God. like it was a commute. It, it really was. Yeah. But Daniel loved the music scene, and I think there was a lot more going on in Orange County, LA, yeah. in San Diego area. There was a lot of shows, um, and even though we look like this, we love. Uh, I love, we love all types of music from Madonna to Mozart Everything. to Metallica. You can catch us at a country concert and the next day we'll be at Nicki Minaj, the next day we'll be Period. at some rock concert. But we loved screaming metal shows. Yes. It was just so fun, it was liberating and um, even though we looked crazy, we weren't really judged. Mm -mm, um, never. People were just there to scream their hearts out and be in the mosh pit and be themselves. It was such a cool it was time. Fun. <sighs> Fast forward to 2021. <laughs> um, hello. Hello. No, Daniel has been through so much, and today we are going to give you a little glimpse into what he has been through. Daniel is a, well, I'm going to let you say it. Yeah, I am a stage 3C colon cancer survivor. I uh, got diagnosed about four years ago, and yeah. Your whole life has changed. Yeah, everything. It's like a, not even a 180, 360, 5 million. I don't know how to go that high in numbers, yeah, but it's you a know, full exor crazy. exorcism. So Daniel's been through a lot. Our friendship, like we've traveled the world together. So yes, we met at a rock show. Fast forward to playing at the Vans Warp Tour yep. so many times in front of Thousands of thousands people in stadiums full crazy, crazy. stuff. Um, we've traveled the world in rock venues We've been in little vans to tour buses yep. to private jets yeah. to Greyhounds. We've literally started Everywhere. from nothing and it was it's 
Fuck, such a crazy fucking journey. Yeah. So today, minus uh, sharing some of Daniel's story, we are going to celebrate because Daniel is cancer free. Yay! Yes, which is, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Let's tell them because not only did you get cleared, how many times? Um, all together, I was told I had cancer three times, three different times. So I did it, did the the chemo, yeah. got told I was good, then I got told I had cancer again, happened three times. All together I did 37 rounds of chemotherapy. Oh my, that's, yeah. wow. <laughs> I can't even fathom that. Like, a lot. You're so strong just to be sitting here and like having a fucking smile on your yeah. face is so, it's beautiful to watch. It's so, <laughs> it's unreal. Um, and Daniel has come such a, a long way. So today, this may sound so uh, shallow to <laughs> right. some people, but we love, <laughs> Daniel's loved makeup forever. Since I was like 13, 14, I was like painting my face and people were like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we got to be um, in front of a very large audience we got to really explore and we were in full makeup all the time when no one was doing it in the middle of nowhere middle like, of nowhere cities yeah. um, and it was just so cool to inspire kids all around America that just wanted to be themselves and have a good time so today <laughs> we are going I'm gonna get lips for the first time yeah injectables for the first time and I'm so excited I've been wanting it forever and I finally have been cleared to get it so Daniel just wants to have a little judge and have a little excitement yeah. Camilla you can agree right yeah. <laughs> we love being yeah. filled <laughs> um, but no once the world changes a little bit more and things are back to normal um, and we're all vaccinated and hopefully the world's yeah. changing we're gonna go celebrate and travel the world yeah. like we used to but in the meantime we're just gonna go get a little refresher we all know I got my lips removed yeah two years ago yeah and I'm like you know what it has to be a special occasion for me to get something else done so today bitch we're I, going let's do it please <laughs> uh, I cannot wait yes mm. all right so Camilla is gonna interview us a little bit more and we're gonna have a full flashback but let's go get filled hey, what is the craziest thing you guys have done together <laughs> Uh -huh. tour. Yeah. Like when we played, there was one stadium I remember, and it was every seat was filled, or like amphitheater, every single seat was filled. The grass was filled up. It was insane. It was one of the first days. I was like, all the seats inside, like all the plastic seats where people could sit, and then areas where they can stand, and then the huge grass area where people could the sit, back. stand, yeah. drink, do whatever. All of it was full, and we walked out there, two guys in makeup, yeah. in booty shorts and glitter and ambition and dreams yep. and I think that we were before our time. Very, very <laughs> that. How did you know that Daniel was your bitch for this? Like, how did you know that he was gonna be your ro road dog? For some reason, we just really trusted each other and I think that us both coming from really crazy backgrounds of alcoholism and chaos and mm -hmm. our fathers not being there, like we really connected okay. on a level that I, I, was, I wasn't connecting with, with other people. Mm -hmm. For years, we would tell people we were related. Yeah. We took pictures right. like in the same, same angle angle, and our jaws and noses looked similar. Really, really bonded and it was just like, we had our crew and our really good friends and people we still are really close with now. And I think the internet is so construed of like, Jeffrey's had so many fights with online friends. Yeah. In this YouTube world, I've only been on in five years. Right. But like, bitch, I, I have- You've lived a life before that. I've lived so yeah. many lives. Oh, yeah. And a lot of my real, Horrible. like when I say real friends, I mean real people that have been with me since day one, they don't want to be on camera. Like mm -hmm. one of my best friends in the whole world, he wants to be a ghost and the same with a lot of my family. Like, why isn't your mom on camera? Yeah. She don't want to be on camera. Yeah. She doesn't want to go to the grocery store and be harassed or like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. I've seen how other YouTubers parents uh, even get harassed in public, whether it's positive or negative. Exactly. Wow. My mom is not for that. That's okay. Okay, so Daniel, hello. Best friend for a very long time. Okay. He is a cancer survivor. Okay. And his doctors have cleared him to finally do s some fun stuff. Nice. So he's never had anything. Okay, great. Really excited. Yeah. I haven't done lips since our removal. Okay. So I would love bigger lips. Now that I have really short hair, I think we need a little bit more. So really surprised here? Same. Okay, great. Go ahead and relax. We're gonna do a couple little pinches. Oh my god. Daniel, this is what it looks like. It looks a little cuckoo for a second. Little pinch. Beautiful. So get surprised one more time for me. Oh my god, I'm canceled. Okay, great. Go ahead and relax. <laughs> Last few little pinches. Very candidly, your, your wrinkles are a little bit deeper. We're gonna go to about 22 units. Oh my god. Just to make sure you get a good smattering. Yes, so really surprised yeah. for me one more time. 
Yes. Great. Go and relax. <laughs> you like it? Botox or age injecting? Yeah. Okay. Yes. FDA approval. It's a little pinch. Mm. Ten years, Jeffrey. Did you ever think ten years we'd still be doing this? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A couple pinches. Mm. I'm gonna have you grab a mirror and we'll look at it together. Who the fuck's so, she? So, <laughs> what's up, ho? <laughs> what's up, girl? Wow. Are you feeling okay there? Yeah, I already feel the vision. Nothing hurts at all. Great. Daniel, let's do your Botox first. All right, let's okay. do it. Did you have any symptoms before? Yeah, for like a year I was just like constantly sick. I lost hella weight. I was like 115. Wow. And I'm usually wow. like 150. There was like bleeding every time I go to the bathroom. Wow. Severe stomach cramps. And I just thought it was because I drank, so I quit drinking. My boss literally told me to leave when I used to have this job and go to the hospital. And That's when they found it. Yep. Wow. Three and a half months Should thank in the hospital. Too, huh? Yeah, no. Put your head back for me. Well, listen, we're, things are on up and up now. Yeah. So. It's all the way up from here. Okay. And that's so it. very surprised for me there again. Okay, great. Three, two, one, two, three. Stunning. Yeah. Big smile. Great. Go ahead and relax. Beautiful. Big smile for me. Great, great, great. great. We are going to move over to the lips in a second. All right, let's do okay. it. And you and Jeffrey have known each other how long? Since 05. The, wow. Or no, uh, the New Year's Eve of 2005 to 2006. We talked before on MySpace, but I lived in San Francisco and he was down here, so. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. We're gonna do a little more and then we're gonna stop and take a look together. Shame crying, I'm sorry. No, you're doing great. Mm. The way you can take it is admirable, son. Mm. And then very surprised for me here. Great. Yeah, that's gonna be This great. is gonna absorb in real nicely and this will be a lot softer pretty soon. We're in robes, it's nighttime. We've cooled down, we've ice packed for a few hours, but we had extreme. Uh, Filler from Mr. <laughs> Dr. Kirby earlier. Yes. Finally. Oh, but it's tight, y'all. How do you feel? I feel great, um, other than tight. <laughs> do I look 42 instead of 45? He is in, <laughs> in his 20s, 30s, 50s. Yeah, I'm in my 90s. Daniel's always been a day one. He, like a lot of my other friends I've known for 10, 20 years, didn't go anywhere and they knew the real me. And Daniel was very sick last summer. What were you going through? I was doing chemotherapy. So yeah. I was in the middle of a very long, I think that was my longest. It was like 20, yeah, it was like the 20 Ooh. rounds of chemo. <clears throat> and I was in the middle of getting that. And I think I just had an open surgery where mm -hmm. they had to take a little bit of my bladder out as well. Okay. So yeah, which he's been dealing with that for months now. Yeah. When did you first know or find out you were sick? So like, um, basically 2017, I was living in Vegas, working for Britney. I was performing as a drag queen. So I was like out all the time. I just had really bad symptoms, like really bad stomach aches where I would like collapse on the floor. I would like go to the bathroom and there would be blood. And Horrible. I lost, I ended up being like 115 pounds. And I'm, I mean, I'm pretty skinny, but, <laughs> I'm not that skinny. Yeah. And so I finally went to the doctor and they did all these tests on me and diagnosed me with Crohn's disease. Okay. But then I kept getting like different symptoms. Like I literally had cancer pushing itself out of my stomach. That's um, so crazy. Where it would pop and there would just be like a hole where you can see inside of my stomach. It was insane. Wow. But I didn't know it was cancer at the time. So I kept going back to the ER and kept getting all these surgeries and they finally took out my colon and gave me a colostomy bag. Okay. That was like, you know, I had to learn how to live with a colostomy bag. Yeah. So which, you woke up with, with, with one. Yeah. Right? They told me I might wake up with one, but I didn't think I would. And then I woke up with a bag. Basically what a colostomy bag is, is you go to the bathroom in a bag instead of from your behind, <laughs> um, because like you had to get rid of the colon and yes. mine was full of cancer. Did not know that still. So when they took the colon out, they uh, biopsied it and I went to go get my staples out from the surgery thinking I was just getting that. And the surgeon said, it's not Crohn's disease, it's cancer. Wow, okay. Yeah. 
It sucked. Wow. And I didn't so know crazy. what kind of cancer. <clears throat> I know it was colon, but I didn't know like stages or anything because okay. I couldn't see an oncologist, a cancer doctor, for five more days. Okay. So those five days, I literally thought it was going to be yeah, dead. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. Um, and then I met up with my oncologist and found out that it was stage 3C colon cancer. So pretty wow. intense right before stage 4. That's so yeah. life-changing and terrifying. So yeah. Daniel has beat cancer three times. Is yeah. that fair to say? Or how do you work yeah. that? So I did uh, 12 or no, eight rounds of chemo the first time. Okay. And they said I beat it. So they said I was NED, which is um, no evidence of disease. Okay. And so I thought I was good. And did you feel better after? I felt okay, but then I started getting symptoms again. So okay. I was like, what is happening? Yeah. Went back, they found another tumor. Wow. And so they went in and oh. removed that, did 12 rounds of chemo, and then did radiation, and then okay. did more, and then I did eight more rounds of chemo. So it was 20 rounds of chemo for the second time. And then the third time they found two more tumors and a spot on my lung. So then I had to do a whole bunch of more chemotherapy sessions. Like it was ridiculous. While I was doing that, I was getting people messaging me, telling me to die of cancer, <laughs> that they hope that my cancer overtakes so. me that me and Jeffrey deserve to both get cancer. <laughs> and we've heard a lot. Like, I mean, we've I've heard, heard a lot it, our whole lives. I've but. heard it since the beginning of time. I really don't, <laughs> I don't take it personal. I don't care. It's just so aggressive. And it's just sad that um, someone told a bunch of lies about me. Uh, half the world believed it. And a lot of my friends and family got attacked all on every single social media platform. And that's just the territory that comes with it. It's sad. Yeah. Um, but it was awful to see Daniel in the hospital and people being so brutal and messaging him such hateful, horrible things. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how those people sleep at night, honestly. Yeah. But all you can do is laugh at it. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I mean, I just, I do laugh at it because what are, what are their words going to do to me? Nothing. I Nothing. really don't care. It, it was, it was just a lot for me personally, as someone who really loves him and I always want to protect my friends. It was really hard to see. Life is a crazy question mark. Yeah. And I think a lot of people have so much or misconceptions about people that have um, colostomy bags or yeah. people that have survived cancer. So I'd love for you to say whatever you would like. So basically like I'm just out here. I want everybody to know that if you have any like stomach issues, like if you have any stomach pains and like bleeding or cramps that just will not go away, please go get tested. Some people might not know this, but colon cancer is the third most deadliest cancer in the world. World. Yes. Um, it's the third most common and the third most deadliest. So um, please go get tested. Even if it's just a small, like minor symptom, go get tested because you never know. I had nobody in my family uh, has ever had colon cancer. Mm -hmm. So it was out of nowhere. So please go get tested. Exactly. And I think a lot of people think that's like older people. Yeah, that's that the thing. For some reason, I don't know why there's that stigma with that. Yeah, the CDC actually recommends age 50 to get col um, colonoscopies to check mm -hmm. it out. But people have been getting, it's been, I think, a 40% increase over the last couple of years wow, of young people under 50. Wow. Yeah, that's so. And I was 29, so I, I was young. So young. So I think this is so important to normalize stuff like this and go get tested and just be open um, and I think it's so cool because Daniel's so open on his platform and I've seen so many people gain confidence and they're not so insecure about maybe having a colostomy bag or they've never seen someone in any form of spotlight be open about yeah. it and the fact that Daniel lives his life so authentically and so open I think is so important and I think that you're helping a lot of people yeah, absolutely well, I try that's that's something I really I really want to do I didn't know anybody who had a colostomy bag okay, for the yeah. longest time so yeah. I was just like so scared. So that's why I started posting more about my colostomy bag exactly. so people wouldn't be. And how's the feedback been? Because I see a lot of amazing, amazing responses. There's so many people that like allow me to post about them, but I also get so many people that don't want to talk about it because okay. it is such a stigma. Right. Like people are like, think it's disgusting or it's only for old people and it's just not. Like people can be born and need, like yes. babies can need one. Exactly. Basically what I'm doing is, you know, keeping up with my health 
doing my screenings, getting my tests done, making sure that I stay healthy, and then yeah. seeing where the world takes me. Now, we're <laughs> gonna go on a mental uh, reset, and Daniel and a big Jeffree Star Cosmetics team are off to oh. beautiful oh. Wyoming, yes. and we're going to my ranch. We're gonna be spending a month plus creating content, working on new formulas. Mm. My skincare line launches in November. Yes. All right, it's time to ice pack. All the dogs mm. are asleep. And yeah. girl, I'm ready for a hit. I'm ready for about three and a half more three. joints. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and for following Daniel's journey. If you want to um, follow him on social media, everything will be linked down below. Um, watch him, check him out, and we'll be doing a lot of wild stuff this year. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much. Bye, guys.